Hi, it's JC at Motorcycle Superstore, and I have a very new and exciting helmet from Scorpion. This is called their T1200. This particular graphic is called the Freeway, which is exceptionally fitting, and I say that because the T that's in the name stands for touring. This, the helmet has been designed for upright riders, people who are on the bike all day long. It's going to give you a lot of comfort for that long-term wearability. So, what you'll find on this is their, their proprietary TCT outer shell. This is made from five different layers. It's fiberglass, aromatic, and organic fibers, and it's actually a fairly lightweight helmet. This size large is 3.6 pounds, which is not too shabby. And on top of that, it has some really nice features built into it. Now, if you don't like the freeway, you can get different graphics, but I don't know how you can avoid liking the solid or the flat and the gloss because it looks fantastic. What it does do is kind of trick you a little bit. If you look closely, you'll see this cowling here. This is all very important. This is what they call their Venturi Super Vent, and it's going to help increase the airflow throughout the helmet. On the front, you'll see these adjustable vents. That's your first intake vent. Then, as you'll notice, the cowling gets a little larger as it moves rearward. There's a secondary intake here, which is non-adjustable, but the idea is that it's going to scoop air and it will increase the velocity as it travels across the helmet. The, the Venturi effect on the back here from the low pressure is going to help pull that out. So once you get this coming in, you get the secondary vent and it's all going to get sucked out the rear. Tons and tons of airflow. Once we go inside, you'll see those air channels there as well. Now, some other things about this shell. It is a DOT rated helmet. It's going to have a five-year warranty on it, which is very nice. Also, we see some more adjustment here on the vents down low for the chin bar, but the shield system is very nice as well. You're going to find the thumb tab on the left side. It's optically clear and correct, UV protective, anti-scratch, anti-fog, all of that good stuff, but check it out over here on the left-hand side. This gives you a couple of options of how to run this shield. You can either crack it at low speeds, you have your standard mode so it opens and closes, or you can lock it into place if you'd like to. Also, on top of that, you have this mechanism, which is your drop-down visor. This is what they call their speed view system, and it's a special system because one, it's great. You're gonna have it with you. You don't have to carry your sunglasses if you don't want to, even though it is designed to allow eyeglasses very easily, but more importantly, you can adjust it even further. So this little tab right here, or this little screw rather, you're going to be able to adjust three different positions and that will raise or lower this by a couple millimeters either way. That's gonna get that bottom line out of your vision hopefully and be a little bit more comfortable for you to ride over longer periods. Another cool thing about the shield is it does have the tool-free uh, mechanism here. Very easy, it's called the Elliptech face shield. So you can pull it off, very simple. As we go inside the helmet, you'll see all of this new liner system. This is their Quick Wick 3. It's extremely comfortable. It feels almost like a memory foam, and it's going to be moisture wicking. It's going to be antimicrobial. It's extremely comfortable to wear. Also, it gets D-rings, but they're titanium, so that's a nice little feature. It helps with the weight savings just a bit. Emergency pull tabs on the bottom so that you can get some medical assistance if you need to. That's a nice feature. And on top of that, it uses the proprietary AirFit system, which is very cool. This big red button, it pumps up these bladders underneath the cheek pads. There's a bleeder valve next to it that's going to allow the pressure out. So you can tailor the fit and it's going to help keep it a little bit quieter inside when you're riding around at higher speeds. Check it out online, see if it's right for you. You're going to get more information and pictures there. If you don't like the freeway graphic, there is another available as well as solid colorways. This is their your touring helmet so leave me some comments and let me know what you think about this brand new offering from Scorpion and don't forget subscribe on YouTube for more product videos.